Hola amigos, and welcome to Sanctioneering. So I had a couple ideas for um, recording videos, and I kind of want to try them out. So today we're going to solve a problem from one of my fundamental chemi books. So if you're about to take your first chemi course, hopefully this guides you a little bit. Hopefully this is a little bit of review, but I really want to test out um, this kind of idea for the layout I have. It's basically trying to mimic Khan Academy and all those guys. And if not, I'm going to do it on pen and paper. So just tell me what you like more. This is kind of going to be like a little survey. And again, if you're about to start chemi, good luck. Okay, so I have this problem here. Uh, no copyright infringement intended. I don't know how that works actually, but our task is to use dimensional equations to convert first problem three weeks into milliseconds. Okay, so hopefully this is um, a bit of a review, but we're going to try to tackle it and uh, let's see how we go. So the first thing we're going to do is let's just write down the problem. Let's just rewrite down the problem. We want to convert three weeks into milliseconds. So if we do a little bit of dimensional analysis, by the way, I have a couple videos of dimensional analysis. I hope to make some more soon. Weeks is in dimensions of time, and of course, so is milliseconds. So the dimensions are correct, so we can continue with the problem. That's very important because sometimes you're going to be doing some, some kind of calculation and you don't know what's wrong, and it's all because of the dimension. So what I do is I start with the given, which again is three weeks. And what I do is I do this little line here and I go all the way across, let's say right there, and we're gonna cancel out weeks to get milliseconds. So hopefully this is a review, but just to make sure. So we have three weeks converting from one week is what, seven days of course, and one day is 24 hours. In one hour, there are 60 minutes, and in one minute, there are 60 seconds. Continue the line. And finally, in one second, there's a thousand milliseconds. So before we continue, with this calculation, let's just make sure that we can cancel out weeks with weeks, days and days, hours and hours, minutes with minutes, and finally seconds to leave us with milliseconds. So we can do this calculation. We can literally just use Google to do this quick calculation. Three weeks times seven days times 24 hours. I did it before, as you can see. So we can see that this number is 1.81 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, times 10 to the 9, which is insanely large, which makes sense, right? Because there's a ton of milliseconds in three weeks. That makes sense to me. So I'm going to go ahead and box this in. So hopefully um, that makes sense. If, you, if it doesn't, feel free to ask me some questions. Okay, and our last task at hand is, of course, to convert this weird guy, 554 meters to the fourth, so we're entering the fourth dimension, which makes no sense, per day is times kilograms to centimeters fourth minutes per gram. So this is a typical example of a problem that really, it just makes no sense, but it's just to practice, and practice makes perfect, right? Um, so again, let's just do some dimensional analysis check. It's very, very important to do, especially with something so weird like this. I mean, fourth dimension, come on. But, you know, sometimes there are some very, very weird dimensions in chemi. So, meters to the fourth, divided by, let's put everything on the bottom, days times kilograms. So, we have every single base dimension, um, and we want to convert this to some amount of centimeters per minutes times kilogram. So, again, dimensional analysis, especially something so weird like this, is very important. So meters to the fourth, that's going to be in length to the fourth, because meters is a length, divided by days, which is a time dimension, and kilograms, which is a mass dimension. And converting this, centimeters to the fourth, again, is length to the fourth, minutes is, of course, time, and kilograms is also mass. So again, so we can, in fact, convert these. Very, very important, I'm telling you. It, it's, it's tedious at first, but you really, really want to check your dimensions, um, especially when it's something so weird like this. So, same thing. So, all over again. So, 554, 554 meters to the fudging fourth power, fourth dimension, really, per day, per kilogram. Just for the sake of simplicity, let's start with, let's do days first. Days to minutes, we've done that already twice. So, one day... Notice how we're going from the bottom to the top. When I was in chemistry, this really didn't make sense to me at all. I had to practice a ton of this days. So one day is 
course 24 hours and one hour is 60 minutes so we're good with days and we have minutes cancel these guys out let's do mass oh you know what mass is already done you know i just oh this is grams my bad see that's why you gotta you, you gotta be careful this is not kilograms that's in grams sorry, sorry. So be very careful because things like that happen all the time and your answer could be completely different. If we convert kilogram, one kilogram is a thousand grams. Because kilo means a thousand, right? And finally, so meters to the fourth. So let's just cancel these out, guys. Let's cancel these guys out. And gals, there, we need more women in STEM. So meters to the fourth, this is tricky. This took me a very, very long time to understand. I um, This is just because of math, but meters to the fourth, we have to convert it. So first let's do our conversion factor. So we know that one meter is 100 centimeters, right? You we get a meter stick, it's 100 centimeters. So the very, very tricky thing to do is if we want to convert this to the fourth, we need to multiply the entire conversion factor, both the top and the bottom, by the fourth power. Now, this really becomes one to the fourth, which of course is still one meters to the fourth power. And this becomes 100 to the four centimeters to the fourth power. Very, very important. This is just because of math. You just have to get used to it and be very, very careful. And uh, finally, we can cancel out meters to the fourth and we're left with centimeters to the fourth. So again, now let's calculate this guy and let's multiply everything on top divided by everything on the bottom. Just to make things easier. So, so equals, we don't need the equals, 554 times one day times one times one times 100 to the fourth power. I already did this problem, I'm sorry guys. Divided by 24 times 60 times a thousand and that gives us an answer of three eight thirty eight thousand four hundred seventy two so thirty eight thousand just round up gives us an answer of about thirty eight thousand which of course we want to get used to scientific notation guys it's very important three point eight times ten to the one two three four centimeters to the fourth power over it's times grams. So hopefully this was, uh, hopefully this makes sense. This is um, number one to kind of start this off with the fundamentals of chemi and to kind of <clears throat> um, practice uh, public speaking as well as doing this layout. I don't have my tablet with me, so I'm just using a mouse for now. But um, honestly, this is very time consuming for me. Now I'm going to try it with pen and paper, just good old fashioned pen and paper. And just tell me what you like more. All right, y'all, so let's try this again. So number A, we are tasked to convert three weeks to milliseconds. So again, we're gonna just do the same exact thing, but now just on pen and paper, tell me what you like more. So three weeks is gonna be converting one week to seven days, one day, 24 hours one hour is 60 minutes one minute 60 seconds and finally one second is a thousand milliseconds so again if we cancel out weeks days hours minutes and seconds we are left with an answer of what was the answer very large number it's 1.81 times 10 to the times 10 to the ninth Sorry about that. yeah see one of the reasons i just want to use pen and paper is because it's much faster but in case i mess up you know it's pen but anyway let's just tell me what you like more all right part b part b we want to convert 38.1 feet per second to miles per hour. So, again, 
heat on top for a second on bottom so I remember that there are 5,280 feet in one mile and uh, we want to convert seconds to hours so 60 seconds in one minute and uh, 60 minutes in one hour so again this was about 25.9 and our last little bad boy we got 554 meters to the fourth per day times kilograms no big deal and this is gonna be two centimeters to the fourth per minutes times grams so 554 oh my gosh see I already forgot the days uh, meters to the fourth per days times kilograms see that's what I was afraid of we're learning guys we're learning and gals we need more women in STEM. Uh, that's meters to the four days per kilogram, right? 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 So let's do this. So um, we convert. Let's start with meters to the fourth one more time just to make sure that we understand it. So in one meter, there's 100 centimeters. We will multiply the entire thing to the fourth power. So remember, that's going to be to the fourth power. Then, um, so you can count all the days. Meters, sorry, meters. Um, brrr, see, see how messy I am, guys. Like that's an issue. Anyway, tell me, tell me what you think. Let's just continue. So days, one day is gonna be what? Twenty-four hours. And one hour is gonna be sixty minutes. Um, we're good with that one, so we can cancel out days, days, hours, hours, we've got minutes, that's good. And then finally, kilograms, one kilogram is a thousand grams, which of course gives us the 38,000 that we wanted. So first of all, first of all, I hope you learned something if you're doing like Gen Chem or um, you're about to start your first upper divs or... Um, and you want to just do some review, so I hope you uh, reviewed or learned something. Uh, but second of all, please let me know what you think of this kind of stuff. Um, I'm hoping you tell me that pen and paper is just fine. Because <laughs> that was way faster. That took me like so much longer online. I mean, part of it because like I'm just starting out and I don't have my pen with me. Yeah, and I, I really want to do just some more examples and some more problems. So don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and your dog. Remember that if you're a science YouTuber or Instagrammer, I'd love to share your work, so please let me know. If you have any questions, leave a comment or PM me via Instagram or Facebook. Don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and your dog.